What is up guys, Doc Yeski here, and today I decided to make you guys another haul video. Uh, this is not a big haul like my Bristol hauls, uh, but this is just like a smaller little haul of some cars I've ordered uh, lately and they, you know, they came in and everything. So just decided to make you guys another haul since you enjoyed the Bristol haul so much. 400 views, thank you guys so much. Uh, I didn't expect that video to get 400 views, so... Thank you for everyone to watch that video and everyone that's liked it and uh, commented and even subscribed from watching that video. Thank you guys so much. And also thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, we're at 144, 26 subscribers in uh, August. That's just amazing. So thank you guys so much. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, just bring you guys another haul uh, since you enjoyed the last one so much. So uh, like I said, not a big haul, but it is a you know a haul so i hope you guys enjoy it so uh that's pretty much gonna wrap this intro so let's get started so the first die cast i'm going to be showing you guys today is jeff gordon's 2015 exalta homestead race version uh this is his race version from homestead not a race win uh just a race version of his car uh the last time he was ever going to drive the 24 in the sprint cup series um you know so very nice looking car. Uh, it's pretty nice uh, looking in race version. Uh, it's not too too race, but it is uh, still a race version. So, very nice looking car. Uh, I did a diecast review on the clean one if you guys would like to check that out uh, if you haven't seen the car before. But anyway, uh, pretty cool looking box too. Uh, it's uh, got uh, more detail than the standard one, like these. Uh, as you can see, Jeff Gordon on it, the Hendrick, Mo or Hendrick Motorsports logo. Uh, Jeff Gordon signature. Uh, you just have the hashtag, uh, ha or yeah, you have the hashtag, hashtag 24 forever. Then you have a picture of the car. Um, so pretty cool looking box. Uh, then the other sides and everything, just the you know standard. So very nice looking car. Uh, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this. So yeah. So anyway, our second diecast uh, coming out of this mail hall. Is Jimmy Johnson's 2016 uh, Batman vs. Superman Superman car. Uh, very nice looking car. Uh, I really do like how it looks like uh, Superman's uh, suit. Um, and then it's like got the cape at the back end and everything. Really do like that. Uh, very nice looking paint scheme. Um, so, yeah. Um, also a big fan of the box. As you can see, not the standard box like those, like I said. Uh, you got Batman and Superman on it. You got the DC Comics logo. Or comics, I think it's a comment, but uh, DC Comics logo. Then you have the uh, Batman vs Superman logo, and then Jimmy Johnson and everything. So very nice looking box. I'm a big fan of it. So yeah. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for that car. So the third car uh, in this haul is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2016 um, number 88 Nationwide Throwback. Uh, this is a throwback to uh, Buddy Baker's 1980. Um, I think he also dro uh, drove that car in 1978 and 79. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on all the years. I know he won the 500, but anyway, it's a th it's a throwback of the you know on the Grey Ghost or whatever, uh, or I guess of the th of the Grey Ghost um, that you know Buddy Baker drove and uh, won the 500 back back in 1980. So a very nice looking car. Uh, I really, do, I'm a really big fan of this uh, paint scheme and everything. Uh, love the orange. Orange is my favorite color. If you guys didn't know that, so big fan of all the orange on this car. Uh, I think that's one reason I really do like this paint scheme. So, very nice looking car. Sadly, won't be driving it tomorrow. Uh, it kind of stinks, but you have Jeff Gordon in it, so maybe he'll do. Maybe he'll do good, and maybe uh, get a top five or something. Um, maybe a win. I, I don't know, but uh, possibly. I'd say maybe a top five. I don't know. Anyway, uh, very nice looking car. Wish Junior was going to drive this car because uh, this was one of his favorite paint schemes. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said, uh, very nice looking car. Standard box. Don't have much uh, difference, you know, from, well, not, there's no difference because it's just the standard box. I was just about to really say, there's not much difference from the standard box, but it's the normal box. So, I don't know why I was going to say that. But, anyway. The fourth and final car I'm going to show you guys today is Chase Elliott's uh, 2016 Sun Energy One car uh, for Hendrick Motorsports. Very nice looking car. Uh, this is honestly probably my second favorite car. Maybe my first. Uh, I don't know. These two like are like a tie 
Um, but I'd say this paint scheme is a little bit cooler, um, but very nice looking car. I really do like this paint scheme. If I had a car to tell you guys to buy with your money, if you, you if you have some like saved up, buy this one. This is a awesome looking paint scheme. A lot of orange, a lot of purple. Uh, just overall a great paint scheme. You got orange rims uh, on the tires, which you don't usually see. So very nice looking car. Really big fan of it. Uh, it looks really good out of the box because I've had it out of the box and it just looks fantastic. So I'd highly recommend this diecast. Um, if you want this diecast and you don't have any money, uh, maybe do some chores or something, earn you some money, uh, and uh, pick this diecast up because it's definitely going to be, uh, it's definitely worth your money. So very nice looking ca car. Uh, probably my favorite or second favorite out of this whole haul. So anyway. I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this haul, guys. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, sure enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, all great diecast. Like I said, buy this one if you can. It's a great looking diecast and you won't regret it. Uh, it's definitely worth your money. Um, so, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me in the comments if you did. Also, tell me uh, by giving me, tell me by, tell me if you enjoyed this video by giving this video a thumbs up. A little tongue twister, I guess, there. Couldn't get it out, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, give this video a big thumbs up. Tell me in the comments if you enjoyed it, and also hit that subscribe button. It's totally free, doesn't cost anything, and it just takes about three seconds. So click that subscribe button. Be a part of this awesome YouTube channel. A lot of great videos coming out soon. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Dockhouse Geek, and I'm signing out. <laughs>